With the coronation done, the representative of the United Nations Development Program, Mr. Donald Adzigzi, speaks. About 1.3 billion people, that is 18% of the population of the world today, live life without access to energy. Without access to power, the poor are stuck in the dark denied all of the benefits and opportunities that come with power. So, if we really want to help the world's poorest families, we need to find a way to get them cheap and clean energy. Cheap because everyone must be able to afford it. Clean because it must not emit any carbon dioxide, which is driving climate change. In 2015, the world emitted 36 billion tons of carbon dioxide to produce energy. The question then is, how can we reduce 36 billion tons of carbon dioxide to zero. Today, in Nigeria, in Anambra State, in Onono community, Bank of Industry has demonstrated that we can by providing the solar energy in Onono community, which is cheap and clean. Bank of Industry has started in Nigeria, and of course, this is the fourth project to be commissioned. Moreover, according to Bill Gates, if everybody begins by providing or using cheap and clean energy, carbon dioxide will be reduced by 80% in the year 2050. So it means it is gradual. Bank of Industry and Unido are partners in progress in the area of renewable energy projects. Once the speeches have all been delivered, next came the high points of the program. That's the launching of the standalone 24 kilowatt solar home systems electrification project. To the glory of God and for the benefit of humanity, I commissioned this solar energy electricity project in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. On behalf of His Excellency, Chief Dr. Willie Obiana Okwenike Global, the Executive Governor of Anambra State, I hereby switch on this electricity project for the benefit of humanity and the glory of God. The solar program that we embarked upon in collaboration with the United Nations Development Program is consistent with the Bank of Industry's uh, mandate and circumstance as a development finance institution. Uh, DFIs globally are set up to intervene in sectors of the economy where market-driven institutions will ordinarily not uh, operate. Um, so this uh, initiative is a classical example because if you look at the financing model, right, we under the first phase we're um, supporting six solar projects, one in each of the six geopolitical zones of the country, uh, with a total exposure of about uh, 
uh, two, 440 million naira, right? There are six of them, uh, average of uh, 40,000 naira. So if you do like 120 times uh, two, that's about 240, I beg your pardon, 240 million uh, exposure. Um, we had to tweak our terms and conditions to suit uh, the circumstance of the project uh, because normally we lend over a period of average of uh, six, seven years at 10%, but in this case we had to double the tenure to 15 years and reduced the interest rate from 10% to 7%. That's because the cash flow in these rural areas cannot um, viably right, um, service our normal um, terms at 10% and over a period of uh, six or seven years. And then even in terms of the security too, our FAC, fixed asset coverage, is normally two. So we have to tweak this such that um, the, we have an all assets venture on the equipment on ground and the personal guarantees of the project promoters. As you know, the two providers we are using now are internationally acclaimed uh, solar energy experts, uh, recognized by the United States government, the African Development Bank, and even General Electric of the United States. Uh, so we are resting more, we are depending more on the character of the uh, project promoters, and character being the most important of the five C's of uh, credit, and of course, they, they, they have the capacity. So we, 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 we can do this because we're a development finance institution. A commercial institution that raises its funds from the market cannot lend at 7% over a period of 15 years because that would be even below the cost of funds, bearing in mind that inflation rate in this environment is almost 10%. Now, maybe 9.5 or so, and then the NPR is about uh, 11%, right? So uh, that speaks to our mandate, and we're happy doing this. After the project is launched, we move around the village to see how effective the electricity has been. It's joy and satisfaction all the way. God will bless Bank of Industry hundredfold. That uh, her sales are multiplied uh, by ten times and this thing that has happened has improved her living. Yeah. This man is the first of many to light up their homes with power supplied by GVE Projects Limited. He speaks glowingly about the innovation. We really appreciate the solar powered project in our community, Onono. I've been the first person to be empowered, to, for my, my life to be empowered. Now, our, the standard of living of people in Onono has been improved since this project came in and since the work commenced till date we can have shared drinks in our free the freezers we can have uh, cold water and rest of it the standard of living of onono is now progressing we thank the bank of industry in collaboration with other companies by the abc thank you very much for all this and we pray that the good lord will reward your people abundantly based on putting an end to the dark days in Onono, thereby giving us daily, day to day light. To ensure the uh, durability and efficacy of the project, we carry out uh, quarterly periodic maintenance for all the systems to ensure that they are very, that they last long as, as designed by the manufacturers and also supply uh, energy to the, to the consumers as designed. After the event, the acting MD CEO, Bank of Industry, Mr. Wahid Olagunju, says the bank is encouraged to do more. Have you ever imagined a time when you could apply for and get a loan from the comfort of your bedroom? Or prayed that the processing time was shorter? Well, it is now a reality with the fast and swift Bank of Industry Real-Time Online Loan Application Initiative. The BOI Online Loan Application Portal is designed to deliver access and convenience to prospecting SME customers by ensuring that applicants need not have to physically visit the bank. Applicants simply have to submit all necessary documents via the online portal with the liberty to select their preferred BOI state office wherein the applications will be processed. How it works? Simply search keyword 
Bank of Industry and download our mobile app from Play Store for Android users, BlackBerry App World for BlackBerry users, and Apple Store for iPhone users. Click on the Apply button. Click on Register to register your account. A verification link and tracking code will be sent to your registered email address. Click on the verification link to facilitate login. Once logged in, you can complete your application, submit and click on continue to start tracking your loan application. An email will be sent to your email address confirming receipt of the application. With this initiative, BOI has reduced its loan application and processing turnaround time. Start applying for your loan right away. Bank of Industry. Transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. The Bank of Industry has funded the lighting up of several remote villages across Nigeria. Why not allow them light up your own business as well? There are a few ways you can do that. To reach the Bank of Industry, feel free to walk into any of their offices closest to you. Otherwise, visit their website at boi.ng. You can also virtually apply for a loan. Just download the BOI SME Loan app from the Google Play Store and tweet at me at K-A-Y Alayande and let's continue the conversation there. That's our package for today. I'm Kaede Alayande. Bye now.